Hi, it's Dominic for Paphos Life. I've come down to the sea uh, front on the harbour to see how it got on with all their renovations. It's a lovely sunny Sunday morning. Let's have a quick pan round. So you can see. Harbour. Nice and calm water as well. <coughs> right, if you were cool. They demolished a big chunk of the uh, fixtures and fittings up the harbour so that they could expose the uh, original brickwork again, which you can now see. And presumably, they're going to have it replaced with, uh, I don't know, Less invasive furnishings, I guess. We've still got all the stuff up here. So I'd imagine that's all still permissible. And it does look nice being able to see the original stonework there. A little look. Yeah. They appear to be refilling an entire knockout bit there. All the tours are now back on. As you can see. So, not all the tour companies are running at the moment. This is very off season. No sign of any pelican. <laughs> so it's very much a work in progress at the moment. Interesting holes along there if you look. How deep they go. Always oh, very calm the water. Should be some nice reflections here. Shame the sun's in the spot like this though. Water's quite low at the moment. Right, while we're here, we'll go and check out the castle and the uh, coast path renovation work they're doing. See if that's opened up again at all. Otherwise, it would be a short film. Is the plane taking off and puff off? That's a nice scene actually, let's just give a bit more of a look. On a calm day.
fossils still attracting visitors. And from this angle, it looks like the uh, barriers still fully in place. I can just see the head of the statue of the girl looking towards Aphrodite from here. Whether you can see it or not is another matter. Go this side first. It is all closed off up there. Oh, there's lots of seaweed in here at the moment. It does get cleared out though, I have to. Well, you can see how low the tide is as well. Let's go over this way, right? Oh, so people are walking up it somehow. Huh? I'll go and check that out in a minute. How's this gate's open? And. Not quite the uh, reflection shot I was hoping for there, thanks to all the seaweed. But as I said, they do clear that away. And it does indicate that the water's clear. So I'll go up this way, I think, now, seeing as that's open. Have a little nice look at the harbour. Oh, it's still. The poke our heads in here. Yes, it is open. So we can go and have a look at the foundation stone. See what sort of work's been going on here. There you go. Doubtless you're all able to translate that. Have a look around the back of the uh, harbour just to see what's going on there. I think this guy's going to go first and head back to the car park that way. There's the archaeological park over there. Just see the lighthouse coming into view. I need to get back in there. Because I think the last time I did any filming or photography there with a vengeance was just before Covid started. And now is a good time to go and explore it before it gets too hot. But they're obviously doing something here now. Because the uh, part of the car park's got a big fence around it. There's that infamous tower block in the distance. I wonder if people moan when the lighthouse was built. I suppose in his day that must have been a blot on the landscape for a lot of people. Mind you, with a number of wrecks around, it's obviously needed. Oh, they're interesting rocks. If that's indeed what they are. What do you reckon? Are going to be seats? Nice posh bin there as well. Hmm. Who can tell? Now they could just be using this area to store raw materials for 
front of the harbour. So it'll be interesting to see where those two round rocks end up. Right, there's a tiny little archaeological site just here, which from memory is uh, consisting of Byzantine churches, which sums up an awful lot of the archaeology in Cyprus, to be honest. Not a criticism, but they did like their churches. Yeah, when I went uh, to the archaeological park originally, I didn't have camera. I mean, okay, the camera I use now isn't that sophisticated, but it's better than the one I was using back then. So it'd be interesting to film the area with a nicer camera. Because I relied on my f an old 360 camera. And one that was okay for making a virtual tour. The films themselves weren't that good. Let's come back to the seafront. What I'm going to do now is get the drone out and have a little fly around with that. And seeing as the weather's so nice, I keep getting worried that people are going to get bored of seeing pictures of the seafront but they always get so many more comments and likes etc than the other pictures. I mean the other pictures do well but you all love the seafront. I do try and do a mix of what you like and I want and what I want to show you. If that makes sense. <laughs> that wall's been repaired a few times. I think there obviously used to be a window there and they filled it in. Okay, well, I might as well finish with one last little look at the harbour. Front. I'll just poke my camera through the fence here. Okay, thanks for watching. Cheers.